you're watching Lestrade Games on Twitch.tv, YouTube.com, and Periscope.tv. Tonight, we are doing Horror from the Deep and possibly making History Quest here on the Optimal Quest Order Adventure through Old School RuneScape. And with that, let's get right into the questing. Are you ready? I'm ready. I am so ready. We're going to do horror from the deep. <laughs> uh so yeah, let's uh let's see here. Let's see what we need and then uh make sure that we have those things and then we'll go and get it. And we'll have, uh, we'll have some fun questing. And you know what? At the same time, we'll also get the stuff for making history. Even though I'm not sure... Um, if we'll actually do that quest. But we shall see. Okay, so... Let's go to the Grand Exchange, as always. You know, it's where you go for all the buying and selling and collecting of the goods that you need for the quests. Okay. So I gotta get I gotta get my money out. I gotta get my money out. Uh no. Uh there we go. Alright. Let's get the money out here. Go to the Grand Exchange. All right, what am I needing? Well, first I'm needing to get my phone out of my pocket because I don't want it in there anymore. And next I'm needing, let's see. I know I have the one fire rune, one water rune, one earth rune, one air rune. One sword of any type that you were willing to lose. Rusty sword does not work, although a wilderness sword will. Okay, I'll, I'm sure I have a sword somewhere in my, in my thing. One arrow of any type except ogre and training arrows you're willing to use. Yep, I'm sure I have that. 60 steel nails. I know I don't have those. So we'll buy, we'll buy those. Nice. Uh, two, two planks. Well, whatever. I know where they can, I know that, okay, plank. Two, two planks. Boom. Got them. All right. And then I need swamp tar again. Man, that's been popular the past two quests. Needing, needing that sweet delicious tar okay i don't uh, i need to unnote that before we have a quest disaster which i like to have okay i always buy stuff that i don't need it's because i don't check first okay one of these one of these one of these and one of these okay and then i also need you know what i'm gonna buy Buy some law runes here. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. 
getting getting kind of low. Getting kind of low on the law runes. Four, five, six. Okay, one. F fire, water, earth, air. Fire, water, earth. Air. Okay. Gonna need some more of these and more of these. I think. Yes, that will, that will do. Um, uh, so we also need a sword. Uh, obviously we'll get rid of the bronze. We're gonna need an arrow. Obviously I'll get rid of the bronze arrow. We need a hammer. Got it. We need molten glass. Oh, I'm going to have to buy that. Didn't think I was going to need to buy that, but I'm going to have to buy that. Molten. Okay. We'll get a little extra. Boom. Got it. Okay. Um, Tinderbox. I'm going to go to my bank. Boom, got it. Well, I don't have protect from missiles. Whatever. Okay, Camelot Teleport, Armor, Food, Mini, Mind, Chaos, Death, or Blood Runes, and enough runes to cast several of each elemental spell. Wind, Water, Earth, and Fire, and a a good weapon for melee and some ranged equipment. Games necklace to teleport to Barbarian Outpost. And Summer Pie. Well, I don't think I'll need that. However, I do have some Chaos Runes. So I guess take like 200 of those. I don't know. And then uh, I guess smoke staff and maybe take some more of each of these, I guess? I have no idea. Okay. And some ranged equipment. Well, I don't have ranged equipment. We're gonna try and brute force this, this, this enemy. Okay, um, yeah. don't need that. I do need that. And then let's also, so I think my game's necklace I need my money again. See, this is... This is like the worst part, is getting all the stuff. Getting all the stuff that you need. Boom, okay. Bang, 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 bang. There we go. Okay. So we start the quest. An old school runescape. A fairy ring was added to the game next to 
The lighthouse, which is not shown on the minimap. Okay, well, then let's go to the Barbarian Outpost. Oh, I need my... Is this a real bank or... It is! Wow, okay. I need my cape. Got the wrong, got the wrong cape on. There we go. Now, now I'm ready. Oh my goodness. These spam bots have gotten worse. Today alone, I've been spammed like so many times. And I know I could turn off the private chat. Oh, yay. However, I want to be able to block them and report them, so I don't. You gotta be kidding me! Thank God. Woo! Just getting, getting, getting a little worried there. Okay, so now we talk to Narissa. Hello there. Oh, thank Omegale. Oh, I am in such a worry. Please help me. With what? Oh, it's terrible, horrible! My boyfriend lives here in this lighthouse, but I haven't seen him in the last few days. I think something terrible has happened. Look, you, you can see for yourself that the light has gone out and the front door is locked up tight. He would never do that. With the light off, this coastline is terribly dangerous to ships and to lock the front door so that nobody can turn the light back on. Maybe he went on holiday or something. Must be pretty boring living in a, in a lighthouse. That is a terribly irresponsible. He is far too thoughtful for that. He would never leave it unattended. He would also never leave without telling me! Please! I know something terrible has happened to him. I can sense it. Please, please, please help, Adventure. But how can I help? Well, we have to do something to get the lighthouse working again. Also, as you may have noticed, the storm that knocked the bridge out. He's trapped me on the cat on this causeway. You seem to have got here okay somehow. So if you could go and visit my cousin and get the spare key I left him. As well as fix the bridge enough so that I can go and speak to my family in Rileka and tell them that's what happened. I will be eternally grateful. Okay. I'll help. Oh, thank you so much! I know my darling would never have left the lighthouse lights off and without even telling me where he's gone. Where is your cousin? My cousin was always interested in agility. He left our home in Rileka many moons ago so that he could pursue his interest. I don't exactly know where he has gone, but I am sure he went somewhere to practice his agility. 
If you see him, his name is Gundorn. Mention my name, he will recognize it. How can I fix the bridge? Well, I'm not just some hope helpless girl. I have pretty good agility, so you only need to use two planks to make the ledge that I can balance along. Just use a plank on each side of the bridge. You will need a hammer and 30 steel nails for each plank you use as well. I believe there are some planks near here. I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much. And we will add this guy. Velikas. Aw, uh, it won't let me message him. Oh, that's all right. Well, anyway, if uh, Velikas ever uh, watches this, thank you <laughs> for liking my name. I think your name is uh, interesting as well. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and fix the bridge. I don't even know what this says to do. Uh, well, it doesn't say to fix the bridge, but I'm going to fix the bridge first. Why? Because I can. And since I can, I will. I did it! I did it! Okay. Now... Yeah, okay. Now we'll go across the blocks. And we'll find her cousin. Because her cousin obviously is at the Barbarian Assault. Okay, someone sent me something in a language that I don't know. <laughs> Oops. Oh, wait. No. Okay, some, uh, someone tweeted about their CSGO for some reason and retweeted my stream announcement. So that's a thing, I guess. Anywho. Shall jump across here. Go. Okay. Then we go this way. Is he actually in the 
There he is! Gundorn! Ha! Welcome to my obstacle course! Have fun! But remember, this isn't a child's playground. People have died here. Hi! Are you called Gundorn? Why, indeed I am! I own this agility course. It can be very dangerous. Yeah, that's great. Uh, anyway, I understand you have a cousin named Larissa, uh, who gave you a key. Ah, yes she did! How do you know of this? She said she probably wouldn't need it, but gave it to me for safekeeping just in case. Yeah, well, if something happened uh, at the lighthouse and she has been locked out, I, I need you to give me her key. Sure, here, here you go. That was easy. He didn't even ask any questions. Okay, so now blah, blah, blah. We fixed the bridge. Now we talked to... Now we talk to Larissa. She will tell us everything we need. Blah, blah, blah. No, don't attack the chicken. We don't need to attack the chicken. Ah! Gotta get a little yawn there. All right, can we cross this without taking damage on the first try? Let's find out. Jump number one, success. Jump number two, success. Jump number three. Success! Jump number four! Success! Jump number five! Major success! We did it! Alright, we'll talk to Larissa. Larissa. I've got your key for you. Thank you so much! Quickly! We must go inside and find out what has happened to my beloved Jossic! Okay. Oh, he looks dead. Uh... This is terrible! What can have happened? can't have happened here. Please, you must fix the light. We cannot let my darling Jossic take the blame for any shipwrecks. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay, we gotta search the bookcase. There are three books here that look important. What would you like to do? Uh, take all books. Flip through the lighthouse manual and the ancient diary. I don't. Oh, that's I. Big booty. I think you're thinking of my other uh, channel. Um. I, yeah, that's that's not that's later tonight at eleven. That's at eleven. We'll, we do that at 11. Not not right now. Anyway, lighthouse manual. Uh, we gotta flip through it here, so I did. And then I gotta read this diary. Dear diary. Magnificence. Is this then what we all aspire to someday become? Are these beings even natural, or are they beyond what 
we think of nature. Ooh, so enticing. Anyway, we'll skip that. Swamp Tar, Tinderbox, and Molten. Uh, Lava. Okay, so. Swamp Tar. Molten. Tinderbox. Boom! Okay. Go down the iron ladder into the base room. Use basic elemental runes on the door. Oh my god, is it really gonna ask me? I'm not sure I'll get this back if I put this in there. Okay. Use the sword any type. Oops. magic armor bring mini mind and chaos blah 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 and enough runes to cast several of each elemental spell be prepared to fight two dag dagonoth first one is easy if you have protect from melee if you don't have protect from melee and your combat level is relatively low it might be wise to save spot behind some rocks in the room it could be killed by all forms of combat. Then right after that, defeat you defeat it, there will be a cutscene in a Monster Hunter monster. White means air spells, blue means water spells, orange means melee, brown means earth, green means ranged attack. If you cannot see the color changes very well, look in the chat box. We don't have any range stuff. Well, we'll just go with it. <clears throat> please, please help me. I think my leg is broken and those creatures will be back any minute now. I guess you're Jossic then? What creatures are you talking about? Ah. Uh, I don't know. I have seen... I have never seen their like before. I was searching for information about my uncle Silas, who vanished mysteriously from this lighthouse many months ago. I found the secret of that strange wall and dis discovered that I could use it as a door. But when I came down here, I was attacked by... Well, I do not know what they are. But they are very strong! They hurt me badly enough to drag me here, and I have been fearing for my life ever since. Don't worry, I am here now. Larissa was worried about you and asked me for my help. I'll go upstairs and let her know that I have found you and that you're still alive, and then we can work on a way of getting out of here. No! No, you can't leave now! Look! They're coming again! Do something! Oh, shit! Yeah, no. I hit him with a three. Ooh, he hit me with a three! I hit him with one. He hit me with a six! I hit him with a thirteen. Oh, I hit him with a seventeen! Ooh, but he got me with a six. I get him with another seventeen, though. Got him with a five. 
Got him with a nine. He's hitting zeros. Ooh, I answered with a 16. He's hitting zeros again. He hit, I hit him with for 11. Ooh, zero, zero that round. Zero, zero again. Who's gonna get it? Ooh, I hit him with a one. Then a 12, boy. Oh, he got me with a six. I got him with eight. He got me with another six. I hit him with a zero. Three, a one. Oh, come on. And an eight to finish him off. Okay, now that that creature's dead, we can get out of here. No, you don't understand. That was not the creature that attacked me. That was one of its babies. Changes to blue. Changes to yellow. Orange. Is that orange? It is orange. Yay, I dodged that. To brown. Brown means earth spells. Boom! 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 Ah, red means fire spells. Bah. Die, demon! Uh, green means ranged attack that I don't have, so we'll just use fire spells. Or we'll use melee, I guess. I don't know. We'll just wait it out. White! White means air spells. Come on. Ah, blue means water spells. Woo, got it with a nine. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh God, orange. Get some melee up in here. Ooh, got it with the 15. Ah, uh, brown. I don't have that many earth. That's all. That's all I got. Ah, red. I got tons of fire. Ooh, got it with a 12. Oh, come on. A one. Yeah! Oh! Two quest points, 4,662 XP of range, magic, and strength. Okay, it's dead. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it's quickly. The mother might be dead, but it's children or not. Follow me upstairs. I might be able to help you with that casket you found. Bring it to my library. It looks familiar somehow. 
34 range, 57 magic. Oh boy! Alright, we'll go up. We'll, we'll take this to Jossic. I see you managed to escape from those monsters intact. It seems I was not as injured as I thought I was. After all, I must thank you again for all your help. Now about that casket you found on that monster's corpse. I have it here. You said you might be able to tell me something about it? Indeed, I, I can indeed. Here, let me have a closer look. Yes, there is something written on it. It is very faint, however. Can you read it? Huh. Ceridomen, Gothic, so Zamorak. Let's do Ceridomen. I think it says Ceridomen. Are you sure? I mean, are you really sure? Maybe you look again. Wait, there's other gods? I wish it were one of the other gods. I'd prefer my reward to be aligned with a different god, not Ceridomen, Samarak, or Gothix. Oh, the seas always wash up interesting stuff around my lighthouse. Perhaps I'll find something more suitable for you in the future. For now, the casket definitely says Ceridomen, Samarak, or Gothix. Which do you think it is? Ceridomen. Nope, it definitely says Ceridomen. Oh, I think you're right. Hand it here and let's see what's inside. Wow! It's a holy book of Ceridomen. I thought these things had vanished. Well, it's all yours. I hope you appreciate it. Woo! Now we can carry a book around. Look at us! Whee! Okay, let's see here. What what time Okay. Talk to Joel an outpost. There's always good. I don't need to talk to Aaron, the silver merchant, throw out the ghost, and Thrawn, the warrior. They can be visited in any order. The player does. Go to Easter Doge. To the town guard, or alternative, you can charter a boat to Port Phasmataz. Inside the general store, talk to Doralock. Okay. Go to Relecta, east of the long hall. Talk to Drawn's brother, Blan, Blanin. Go north to the shop is with Drawn. He can be found. Drawn will ask various questions. These are the answers. To get through the conversation quick, here are the numbers you can press for the whole conversation. Three, two, two, one, two, one, two, 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 la, 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 la. Okay, let's do making history. I think I can do it. I think I can do it really fast. Okay, so let's go to Actually, let's go to Varok. And then 
we can go to the Grand Exchange and use the tree. I think I have everything else. One bone, one pot, one bucket. It's all stuff that I can get fairly easily. So no need to worry about those, and I don't think I'll really need them. Uh, actually, let me get some coins out. It. that'll be enough okay so now let's go and we'll travel go to the gnome stronghold and then we'll leave the stronghold This away. Okay, open the gate, boys. Thanks. Okay, now we're gonna go this way. This away. And here we go. Okay, look, hobgoblin. It's not gonna get you anywhere. Okay. Let me talk to this guy. Hi there. All is lost. Sorry. Just look around you. This great building will soon be in ruin. Great building? Of course. This building has a history spanning generations. Ah, I see a great history, but why will it be in ruin? It's to be ripped apart to make way for King Lathis' new alchemist lab. Does the king not respect the outpost's great history? Well, Actually, nobody knows what the history is, but there must be something. Wait a minute. You could help me. Me? Yes! Uncover the history of this building to convince King Lathis to leave it alone. Do you want to know more? Tell me more! That's what I like to hear. Jarrell talks about the outpost with many occupants over the years. The building has seen much action. It started life as an outpost. Its sole purpose being to see invading armies. Before they saw the city of Ardu, Ardoing, it's Ardoing. It goes, if it all goes well, I hope to be able to turn it into a museum as a monument to the area's history. What do you think? Okay, I'll make a stand for history. Oh, thank you so much. You really are my savior. But where should I start? What do I need to do now? There are three people that may be able to help. There's a silver trader in East Ardoin called Aaron, who is, who I believe can help. In what way can he help? Well, he is the great grandfather his great-grandfather lived in the outpost, according to records. He must know something. Okay, I'll see what he has to say. Alright, so we'll go to the silver trader, because we're right here. 
just going to teleport there. And I think this is silver. Okay. There he is. Silver! Silver! Best prices for buying and selling in all of Kanad Kandarin. Are you Aaron? That I am? What do you want? You realize I'm working here. This shouldn't take too long. I just want to ask you a bit of about your great grandfather, the one who lived in the outpost. What's it to you? I'm doing some research for a man called Jor Joral. Apparently, the king is going to make the outpost into his very own alchemist lab. That can only cause chaos. Well, my great grandfather lived and died there, according to my mother, but even she knows very little about him. I see. The only thing I have is a key. It's a strange key. It changes temperature by itself as you walk around. I'm afraid I don't know what it's for, though. No idea at all. Well, I imagine it's some sort of chest of his belongings, as it's too small for a door. Perhaps you find some of his belongings, you will discover some clues amongst them. It's better than nothing. Will you lend it to me then? Why not? I can't use it. Try feeling its change in temperature as you walk around. Okay. South of the observatory near the river, north of Castle Wars. The area to dig is on white flowers. Okay, so we're just gonna go to the bank here real quick. So I need to get a shovel and my dueling ring. We'll go to Castle Wars. Okay, spade. Boom. Uh, ring. Boom. Rub. Castle Wars. Okay. Ah. White flowers. What? Okay. Thank you. 
Wait, this one? Yay! Okay, we found a journal. Okay. So now let's go back to Ardoin. Gonna have to get some more law runes. That's no problem. I need my amulet of ghost speak. ship to Port Phasmas, my tataz. Haven has the people. Yes, these people. Charter. Okay. Boom. All right. Now we gotta go to the general store. At the general store. Where is the general store so I'm not wandering around? It's over here. Okie dokie. Just outside. There he is. Hello, are you Drolalak? Wow. I haven't spoken to a living for, for, I don't remember how long. So your name is Drolak? Sorry, yes, I am he. Great! Do you know anything about the outpost north of Ardoin? I don't really like to talk about it, but I died there. Oh dear. Uh, I do have a scroll which might interest you that you describe the timeline of the outpost. But first, I wonder if I could ask you to tie up a problem. Like what? Well, I left to go to the outpost against the wishes of my wife. I promised I would return to her, but obviously I did not as I died there. She's a ghost near nearby, but won't listen to my apologies. You want me to patch things up? <laughs> yes, how'd you guess? Call it traveler's intuition. Oh, okay. Well, perhaps you could give her a strong sapphire amulet because this is what I gave her the day I left. Her name is uh, Melina, by the way. No problem. Okay, I totally didn't get that. 
necklace, but I'm sure she'll accept something else. No, she won't, but that's okay. Okay, bank. This is a bit of a pickle. Okay. We're going to far. <laughs> See, this is what I do. This is why these are not guides. These are <laughs> me floundering around trying to get quests completed in an, an efficient way. <laughs> and then I always... I always mess it up, especially when I don't follow the freaking quest instructions like I should. Gotta be joking! This is such a freaking mess. But I always do this. This is what you come here for. How long is it going to take him to mess up a quest? I'll tell you. About an hour. An hour before. I started the quest, I actually messed it up. You just didn't know. Keep going. <coughs> to Brimhaven. Ugh! Then... Uh, 
We charter to Port Phasmataz. Then, okay. Well, where is Milan? Just is she near the general store? There she there, what I just there she is. If you don't mind me asking, are you Melina? I uh, ah, uh, that I am. What's it to you? I've been talking to Drolock. I believe he left you, but never returned. He did? I suppose he has asked you to tell me he's sorry. What an empty gesture. Well, actually, he told me to give you this amulet. A sapphire amulet. He remembers. It's just like the one he gave me before he left. I honestly believe he's sorry. I'm so glad. Please tell him to forgive. I forgive him. I will. At last, I feel complete. Farewell. Goodbye. I've given her the amulet. She was very pleased and said she just wanted uh, to know you still cared. Excellent. I'm so glad she believes me. I can finally rest in peace. Could I have that scroll you mentioned first? Of course. Let me know if it was of any use and then I can be forever free. Thank you. Okay, now we gotta go to Rileka, east of the Long Hall, talk to Dron's brother. So, I wonder... Let's do this. Barian Outpost? Probably the quickest way I could think of at the moment. And then we jump across. Boom, got it. Let me jump across one more time. And one more time. And one last time. And then we go over and use the bridge we fixed. Across the bridge. Boom, we got some agility points from that. Nice. I'll take some agility experience. Okay. 
I am out of running energy, and it's not very nice because I walk real slow, but now the wolves are attacking me in this little forest, and I need to go to talk to Drawn. Okay. East of the long hall. Talk to Drawn's brother, Blannon. Go north of the Skullgrim shop and speak to Drawn. Okay. Hello, are you the brother of Drawn? What? That I am? What? Has he killed one of your family? Not that I know of. Oh, good. How can I help? Well, I'd like to talk to you, to your brother, Drawn, about the outpost north of Ardoin. Oh, I'm afraid he's not easy to talk to, so it's good that you came to see me. You'll need to remember a few things when talking to him. Like? Well, you must uh, be firm with him, and I don't, and don't mention that I sent you. In case he asks, he wields an iron mace in battle. Eats rats for breakfast, kittens for lunch, and bunnies for tea. His favorite drink is red spider blood. He's 36 years of age, 8 months and 21 days. Studies famous battles of the 4th and 5th ages. Lives on the northeast side of the town and his um, pet is called Fluffy. Okay. I know it sounds strange, but Drone won't talk to anyone unless they know him well. He's a secretive guy. Okay, so now we go talk. To Drone. North of Skullgrim. Is this the Skullgrim shop? Yes. Riso. can be found close to the northmost dock. Ah, okay. I like, uh... There he is, there he is. Found him, found him, found him, found him, found him, found him. I need to talk to you. Why should I? I'm after important answers. But how do you know me? Why, you're the famous warrior drawn. Huh, if so, what weapon do I use? An iron mace. Well, do I, when do I like to eat rats? Breakfast. When are kittens best devoured? Lunch. What do I usually eat for tea? Bunnies. What color spider blood tastes the best? Red. How many years old am I? 
36 and months 8 what are the most interesting ages for battles 5th and 4th and my house is situated where northeast side of town what is my brother's name? Blannon. And my pet cat is called... Fluffy. What's five plus seven? Twelve, but what does that have to do with anything? Everything. Besides, it's thirteen. I think you'll find it's twelve. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. You seem to know me quite well. I'll answer your question best I can. Phew. Well, what are they, then? I'm trying to find out the history of the outpost near Ardoin. I was hoping you could help. Let me see. Ah, yes. I remember reading of a battle that took place at the outpost many years ago. Two ex-friends led forces in a small battle that ended with them pitted against each other at the top of the outpost. As the sole survivors because their superior strength. Ex-friends? They were once friends, but a difference in their beliefs meant they fell out. One chose to follow the god of Zamorak, whilst the other chose Saradomen. But finding themselves in this extreme situation at the top of the outpost post caused them to see the errors of their ways like the waste of life and the lo the lost friendship and the wasted time they both then decided to unite under gothics ah i like a happy ending you would thank you i can report back to draw now anything else well i was wondering how you get the blood stains out of your clothes BE GONE! Alright. Now... Actually... Let's go to Varrock again. And we'll take the tree teleport. And then we'll be like right there and then we'll be done the door and then over here Hi there. How's it going? I found a journal. Good work. Let's see what it says. 
Crow reads through the journal. This person who the person who wrote this the journal spent time living in the outpost following the order of Zamorak. I see. He talks about all of the nasty things they did to the people of Ardine. Which I don't care to mention. Looks like they were stopped by someone, but it doesn't say who. Interesting. I talked to the warrior. Excellent. What did he say? Well... And then I asked him about getting the bloodstains out of his clothes, and he didn't like that. It seems you're lucky he didn't beat you up. Well done. That's another piece of the puzzle. I have been in contact with the ghost you suggested, and I have recovered this. Girl skims the, over the contents of the scroll. Very interesting. So there was a great battle at the outpost. Then one of the survivors became king. And the other started the marketplace. Good work. It all makes sense now. I never realized there was quite so much history in this place. It was more than I could have hoped. I'm glad to hear. What's the whole story? Many years ago, there were two friends who fell out over the differences of opinion and religion. One decided to dedicate his life to Saradoman, the other to Zamorak. Years passed and the follower of Zamorak moved into this outpost with a group of others to cause havoc for the city of Ardoin. The people of the city called upon the Saradoman leaders, who happened to be led by the other friend. A battle ensued and ended with the two ex-friends at the top of the outpost as the sole survivors. Realizing their mistakes, they made friends again. One decided to become king and spread the word of equality. The other chose to start up a market where all could trade their wares equally and fairly. The one that became king is the great-grandfather of King Lathus that we know. So what should I do now? Well, what I'll do is write down the details you provided in a more easy-to-digest manner along with my plans of using the building as a museum. Then I suppose you want me to deliver it to the king? You've got that right. Okay. Of course, I've really got to take it to the king. Okay, wait. Yeah. Okay. I've got to go to the castle, I've got to go to the castle, I've got to go to the castle because of the stupid quest. Don't really want to go to the castle, but I got to. Excuse me, I've been asked to hand you this form. This from uh, Jorol at the outpost. Oh, I see. The king reads the letter. Huh! Oh, I had no idea the place had any value at all. All this about my great grandfather and Jorol's plans to make it a museum makes for a convincing case. I'm sure he only wants what's best. Very well. I will comply with the request. Take this letter back to him. With my kind regards. Thank you. Alright. And we're gonna go back to Var. We're gonna go back to Varag. We're gonna go back to the tree. God. Dang it.
Okay. Go! This quest is almost done. It's not even that hard or long. It's just... Okay. Gnome struggle. <laughs> Gotta go south. We're out of run energy. Yippee! Here we go, and we're gonna complete it. I've been to see the king, and he gave me this letter. Quick, let me see. Jarrell reads the letter. Hurrah! Good work! You've done it! You've saved the outpost! My pleasure. I can now continue with my plans for this place. Thank you. Take a look at all at the artifacts in the new museum room. You may find something of interest. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, three quest points. A thousand prayer XP, a thousand crafting XP, 750 gold coins. Use the enchanted key all over RuneScape. Visit the silver trader for help. And with that, if you're doing this from level 3, you would have 109 quest points, 36 crafting, and 34 prayer. Woo! And with that, that is going to be the end of today's questing adventure. All right, if you're watching live on either twitch.tv slash games, youtube.com slash c slash games, or periscope.tv slash games, I want to thank you for watching live. And if you're watching this on YouTube, on the YouTube channel, be sure to leave that, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below and then go to over to Twitch or Periscope and follow me there or Twitter slash the games and then tomorrow at 9 p.m. tune in and we will do Shiloh Village and with that I will see you tomorrow <laughs>